Um, Action Jackson asks, okay, he asked me, why do I consider Aliens and the Abyss movies epistemological? Now, you know, th this is a, I'm answering a question for people who've actually seen the movies, so I hope you've seen them. So Aliens is, is a movie about this really, really, particularly the, the second one, right? The, the, the second alien. But the, the, the Aliens franchise is about this really, really, really spooky, horrifying, Alien, and, and the alien is particularly horrifying because it is parasitic and it's parasitic on the human body. So it actually, it lays an egg inside of you and the alien grows inside your belly and then it comes out of your belly. So it's fairly disgusting. But think about, you know, I can't think of anything more scary and more offensive and more disgusting than that. So you've got this real evil. Right, real evil, not evil in the sense that it's doing something that it is evil. I don't know what it is, right? But in a sense that its effect on your life is evil, right? That which harms human life is evil. It is evil. It destroys human life, and it, it grows, and it's almost impossible to kill. And it's just this amazing monster that actually it wasn't uh, Cameron who invented, but it was uh, the guy who uh, who was the director of the first Alien, another famous director. I apologize for having a abysmal memory. But anyway, so you've got this alien. And then in the movie Aliens, you have a team of Marines, Sigoni Weaver, who is the only survivor of the previous encounter with it, these aliens, which was the first movie, Alien, and a, a, a corporate guy. And it, by the way, the movie is very anti-corporation, so it's anti-business in that sense, and usually I'm not Usually, I'm not, I don't like movies that are anti-business, but again, because the theme here is epistemological, I don't mind the anti-business side of it. So, you've got this whole crew there, and every one of them deals with the situation in a different way. Every one of them has to figure out how they're going to survive. So, some of them panic. They die very quickly. They're just, some of them are consumed by fear. They die very quickly. The, the corporate guy wants to find a way to, to, to manipulate the situation, but he evades essential aspects of reality. He evades the true nature of this alien and the threat that it poses. He ultimately dies. The only people who survive, there are two people Basically, other than, you know, this kind of a robot, but the two people who basically survive. One is Sigourney Weaver. And the beauty of the movie is that Sigourney Weaver is super rational. But not just implicit. Her rationality is not just implicit. Her rationality is explicit. She constantly during the movie says, let's stop and think. Let's figure this out. What should be our next step? How, given the nature of the alien, how do we deal with it? How do we take a next step in order to defeat it? Or in order to, you can't really defeat it, but how are we going to survive? How am I going to save the lives of the people I care about in this group and survive? It's a constant issue of mind. Never evade. Never look the other way. Always deal with the facts as they're in front of you and have the courage and the rationality to, to, to focus your mind on the problem and try to say, to, to, to figure it out. And Sigourney Weaver in that movie is one of the great, great heroes in action movies because she's so explicitly rational. Now, the other character who survives with Sigourney is a Marine. And the reason he survives is he figures out very early that the only way he's going to survive is that he attaches himself to the smartest and ra most rational and most experienced person, which is Sigourney Weaver. He watches everybody else act irrationally, and he identifies the fact that they're all completely irrational. And he says, if I'm going to face this enemy, if I'm going to face this evil, if I'm going to survive this evil, Sigourney Weaver clearly has the most information, clearly has the most knowledge, and clearly is rational. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to attach myself to her, and I'm going to do what's necessary, A, for her to survive, and B, for, I'm going to, 
follow her orders because she knows what she's doing and nobody else knows what she's doing. So he identifies, again, conceptually, again, what's what? Puts the fear aside because they're all afraid. Puts the fear aside, uses his mind, focuses, and deals with reality as it is. So that's Alien. And it's a constant movie where you're constantly in fear. It's like a horror movie, but I think a very, very sophisticated horror movie. And, and it's, the, the action is fantastic. The, the, the suspense is fantastic. And I think at the end of the day, her character is, is amazing. Amazing.